Oh hi! Welcome to part 5 of the Her Name Was Fire Guides. In this one we'll be doing the Gatling Twig card build. Let's just get right into it. <coughs> so for this one, similar to the Fire Orbs, I my favorite is still Gamble. That's usually my favorite. But um, tax evasion is fine. Those are pretty much the only ones I would really go with. S Celerity can be done, but there there's two different versions for the Gatling Twig. You can do the low casting cost or the or low cast speed or high cast speed. I just keep it as is. So <coughs> let's just jump right in. Okay, so I'm going to just redraw that. So similar to the last one, I will take the Pact. This is going to make the early part a little bit tough since I don't have my specialization, but it's not that bad. And I will take Tantrum. Because it went down from 5 to 3, which is kind of bad, but at the same time, the shots are so quick that it really does not change much. <clears throat> so one thing to note about this build is there is no boost to make Gatling Twig Pierce or anything like that. So we, this build is a lot more desperate for the cards. However, it also triggers the good ones really well. Uh, so Infusion is one of the ones that's really good. You hit them so often with s sorceries that it's very easy to trigger bombs onto them. So I will take that early. So you can know if there's a bomb on them for if the enemy is blinking. Okay, Sunburst is the most important one to this build because since it's 15% chance for each hit and it goes up to 60, or no, 35, that is a very, very high damage increase. Okay, since we already have those, I'm gonna go with the fast cast speed build again. Doesn't really change anything since Sunburst will be a lot of the damage, but this way it inc it improves the chances for the other ones. I'm gonna just get to four or five before I go. That way I have my specialization. Okay, and again I'm taking Hunter. I've tried Dragon on this build before. I still don't like it on this one. Okay, I'm going to redraw. Bullet Pulse again is pretty good, but 
since I have the gamble, I just want to get more chances at more of them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take the crawler just for the movement speed. And I'll take a second level into infusion. Okay, so... This is another one that's questionably good. I like it, but it's argu it's definitely an arguable one. So I'm gonna grab it. It makes it so all my shots can potentially burn enemies. <coughs> Which is pretty solid for when it comes to the bigger enemies. there's so many pools of fire, it's very easy to just lure enemies into it and get a bunch more damage. Okay, Spaghettina is not bad, but I'm not going to bother with it right now. But since it is a sunburst build, I will go ahead and grab the devil for triple shots that can trigger. And we are at the point that we do not care about sorcery damage anymore. the server. Bosses are a little bit tougher right now, since none of my damage is really specific target focused. But it's not too big of a deal. If I'm given the opportunity, I will just max out the devil now. This will probably be a little bit of an extended fight against them. to take the wing. The wing is not as good on this build since you have such a far range, but it's still plenty fine. And finally we have level 2 of Sunburst. Uh, the Magician is okay. Ooh. 
Mm, I'll take it. I don't usually do it. I, I would usually take metabolism over it, but just so we have some more different types of attacks happening. And because we can only get those from the allegory, since the only one I've actually unlocked is the devil. Weakness is perfectly acceptable. Draw Sunburst level three. <coughs> so I think that's the max for Sunburst. Unfortunately, we can't get it to like a 55% chance or anything like that. But you can see with this many bullets, it's triggering very frequently anyway. Increase the damage of my arrows more.
Okay, so while here, might as well go over what his attack patterns are again. So he has like three really mo big moves. The tentacles, then he does these bullets that are very easy to just follow. Those are his two main attacks. He will occasionally do a third different attack. Honestly, it's been a while since I've seen it, so I can't really say in advance what it is. Whoops. Maybe he only has the two attacks. I thought he had a third. Once again, I will take the Hierophant, because it is very helpful. So let's take some movement speed increases. <coughs> okay.
metabolism level 4, that'll be quite handy. And I'm actually going to take the pumpkin here. The crawler would be good, but I need to get some more area of effect damage going. Being near the end, I will take ten. Nope. I did just give him a free shot on me, but that's not too big of a deal. Okay. The sun will play out pretty much the same every time. Again, I don't usually have this many allegories, but just to get as many effects at once so you can see them. Fusion doesn't do that much damage anymore, so I don't want to bother with level 3. The wing is always more useful with levels, though. And again, weakness.
Okay, go ahead and take the pact again. Okay, Sunburst level 4. Okay, so it, it does get to level 5. I thought it just went up by higher numbers. <clears throat> okay, Tower. I can't remember if I actually fought him while I didn't kill things instantly. So he has two real things he does. Or three, I guess. He does the little UFO attack, he shoots bullets, and then he just summons a whole bunch of birds. Oops, I did not see that one. Or that one. Okay. I might actually lose to this guy, which I've never done before. Okay, I'm fine. <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take the sun. I noticed it was doing some pretty solid damage. Okay, I think I'm on acceptance now. Yep. I'm gonna take another level of the pumpkin, because that's a large source of my damage right now.
Hey, finally level two hunter. Oh, but level three pumpkin though. I'm gonna go with level three pumpkin instead. them to step in some puddles so they stop almost killing me. up my metabolism. Okay, the devil. So the devil only has a few patterns. He does these explosions under you. You can know they're coming if he does the little growl. Afterwards he will shoot two two waves. And then these slow moving waves that always like alternate between two patterns. So that's the end of the Gatling Twig build. So the big takeaways from it is Sunburst is very important for your damage. Pumpkin is a good alternative as well, as long as you have a good enough source of damage to be able to consistently set them off. Uh, and then otherwise, it's all about just playing safe like normal. But that's it for now. So tomorrow will be the Thunderblade build. So thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.